I took 90 days to find balance in my life and I captured these moments so hopefully you could be inspired to soul blaze your life. Who's been to Tuscany? We did. When? Uh, last summer. Yes, and that was our favorite pasta ever, was it not? It was. We loved it. We thought, God, how amazing to cook this kind of pasta. And now we get someone to come in. But I bought her book about three months ago and I bought three copies for my friends. But did I ever try the recipe? No. Why not, Lisa? Because I'm lazy like most people are in the kitchen. It's much easier to just do it your regular way. And I read the directions and it's like so simple like you put pasta in you put lots of salt for example but did i do it no because i don't have a coach with me so hopefully after she comes over we will start doing this regularly right yeah because the whole purpose of this 90 day thing is to change habits and make them stick and that's what we're gonna do so let's go let's go cook Woohoo! Woohoo! i'm ilana horwich i'm a chef and storyteller the founder of meal and spiel cooking school and the author of meal and spiel how to be a badass in the kitchen i'm going to explain to you guys what's going to happen okay. okay let's just break it down what we're going to be doing okay. all right so we have two heads of cauliflower one of these cauliflowers is going to become a mac and cheese okay. all right the other one's going to become a soup but both of them need to go in the oven first in order to be cooked for the pasta sauce, we're gonna make the cherry tomato and basil sauce in here. And then we're gonna cook the pasta in there. And then we're gonna make the flourless chocolate cakes and get those going and then they're gonna go into the oven. Okay. So I think the first thing that we should do is work on our cauliflower. We cut the cauliflower into small pieces and then I got to pull them apart with my bare hands. I'm gonna cut out the core and then you are gonna use your hands because I think hands are the best tools. Okay, so let's just keep breaking these apart. Different sizes, I like them to be in different sizes because then you'll have different textures. So you can do some small, some big, some medium. To make the cauliflower mac and cheese, you have to brush a small bit of olive oil on the cauliflower. Olive oil, salt and pepper, olive oil, salt and pepper, olive oil, salt and pepper. Olive oil and salt and pepper, mm -hmm. that is the base. That's what you need to know. If I leave this house and all you remember is olive oil, salt and pepper, that's mm -hmm. what we need. Any questions? Then roast them in the oven at 400 degrees. This was fun. She told me to lick my fingers. Lick your fingers. How's it taste? Okay, good. there we go. Then it was time to make the sauce and the pasta. The three essential ingredients for making 90% of pasta sauces that happen every night of the week in Italy, all okay. right? Olive oil, garlic, red pepper flakes. Okay. If you know how to use these three ingredients, you can make a pasta from anything. So these are gonna be our base. Okay. And then we're gonna add cherry tomatoes and basil. Perfect. She taught us how to open up the garlic instead of chopping it and you're not smashing with your hand, you're going in with your body, okay, and it, you cr it cracks, and then you just peel it off, okay? There you go. Good job. And now see if you can peel that. Yeah! Good job. Yeah. I love cherry tomatoes. She taught us how to make the sauce with it. It was really good. I got to cut them in half. The sauce was simple. All you need is olive oil, tomatoes, basil, and garlic. Less is more. She said we don't need a lot of ingredients to make it yummy. Mm. Oh my god. <laughs> you see how easy that was? That's like four ingredients, guys. Oh my god. So good, right? Oh my god. I know. We mixed the sauce with the noodles. It was delicious. Mm. Yummy. Mm. Isn't that delicious? Mm. Okay, let's talk cheese. Mascarpone is essentially a an Italian cream cheese. So okay. as opposed to making like a bechamel cream sauce, we're just gonna use mascarpone. Say it with me. Mascarpone. 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 There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Next we mix the cheese and the cauliflower together and put it in the oven. While it was in the oven, I had to go do homework. Apparently it was so delicious, someone forgot to call me back. Oh my God. Mm. Next, it was time to make the flourless chocolate cake. We put all the ingredients together, put it in the oven, and then I had to go do more homework. Fortunately, this time, they called me back and I got to try some. 
You like it? Yeah. Oh my God. So yeah. good, huh? Thank you so much for coming over. This is been amazing. Welcome. And this is food for the soul. My daughter loved these recipes. Yeah. Simple, clean, cauliflower, olive oil, natural ingredients, cherry tomatoes. I mean, it doesn't get easier than that. And we eat pasta all the time, but it's never tasted like your pasta. And we were just in Italy last summer and Ava's like, God, mom, how come we can never get this again? I'm like, I don't know, because I don't know the recipes. Yeah. And you did it in five minutes. It yeah. seemed just olive oil and a little salt, pepper, cherry tomatoes, cooking it the right way, simple. That is the mad, that's the magic of Italy. Yes. Like I'm the messenger. Yes. I am just the messenger. I lived there for a long time and I'm just the messenger. They're geniuses over there. They yes. have figured out of how simplicity. to make a simplicity yes. and extraordinary taste. Yes. As long as they're using the best ingredients. Yes. Yeah. And just this book, the key to this book compared to other books is each recipe builds on the other. So if you know how to do one dish, it's just changing out the vegetables, but the same ingredients, salt, pepper, olive oil. Yeah. Then different ingredients, salt, pepper, olive oil and just for the desserts so take a look at it and this isn't just a cookbook it's a book that you can read in bed and it tells stories and it really gets you in the mood for cooking so highly recommend it america certainly needs this we got to stop eating out of a box yes a hundred percent speaking to the choir here yes <laughs> but um i enjoyed it so much so thank you thank you're you so thank welcome. you you're welcome you're welcome yeah.